Okay, boys, let's get back at it. I want to talk about delamination. What is a delamination in the concrete? And I'm going to show you on a video right here what delamination is. Delamination is, you could see on that video over here, you have a thin layer right on the surface that doesn't stick. It's just been removed about a layer about 132 of an inch, 116 of an inch. And that thing doesn't look good. It's just the first layer of the concrete just broke off. That's what delamination is. Look right there. You see it right here. The first layer has been removed. And that thing doesn't look good at all. And I want to talk about what creates delamination. And I have quite a bit. And I have a big crack over here. I'm going to talk about later on in another video. So look, let's talk about delamination. You see it over here. The first layer just don't stick on it. Just And that doesn't look very good. Look at that. And I have quite a bit. And I want to talk about that, what create those stupid delamination. Because it's quite a bit frustrating. I mean, you, you bust your ass like crazy and you do all the right thing by the preparation and all that and you end up with this. So, I want to talk about that and that you guys don't do the same mistake that I make. So, let's get at it. What is the delamination? So, delamination is the the top one eighth to a quarter of an inch is densified primarily due to premature improper right there improper finishing and separated from the base slab by a thin layer of air or water. So this is what delamination is. And I want to talk about, look at the picture on the side over here. When you pour your concrete, you take your concrete or your sand mix in my case, and you put that in there, what happens is you have the, the, the sand and the water and the Portland cement, when you put that on the top and you acquire the thing with a 2x4, over time what happens is, is the heavy stuff, all the stuff that is, is heavy, go at the bottom. And when that thing go at the bottom, you have the hair and the water, they are inside of the cement, end up on top. That thing go on top. And what happens is, if you start to finish... If you start to finish too early with a trolley, you start to finish too early, you create a layer on top of a, a little cream. You create a layer right on top. And what happened is those bubbles of hair got trapped. They're not able to, uh, they're not able to uh, get out of the, the concrete. They get trapped with that cream that you create by finishing too early. So the hair got trapped. And this is what create that delamination. So, so this is what they say right here. What do delamination occur? Bleeding is the hop. This is a bleeding thing that I'm telling you. When you put your concrete, the bleeding is the heavy stuff go at the bottom settle at the bottom, and when that thing settle at the bottom, the air inside of that concrete and the water go on top. This is bleeding. 
So, bleeding is the upward flow of mixing water in plastic concrete as the result of the settlement of the solid. Demil delamination occurs when the fresh concrete surface is sealed or densified by trolling while the underlying concrete is still plastic. Look, trolling while the underlayer concrete is still plastic. That little mud on the surface. If you start to troll it that too early, you create a barrier that the air cannot get out of there. This is the bleeding. You need to wait that the bleeding is done before you start to troll it, that freaking thing. So, by trolling while the endoline concrete is still plastic and continue to bleed and release the air right here. This is what creates that freaking delamination. And believe it or not, this is what I did. I didn't wait long enough before I take that freaking trolley. And you need to wait. Before you finish that freaking thing, you need to wait that everything is settled at the bottom. The air is not in the concrete. Those little bubbles of air has been evacuated. You need to wait. And I'm going to show you that I didn't wait. I didn't wait long enough. I'm going to show you right here. This is what I did. I didn't wait. So here, the best example over here. So look, I just pour a bag. I'm almost done with my 2x4. And you'll see, I didn't wait. I'm a moron. I'm stupid. I didn't know. So look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be done here. Look what I'm doing here. I go take that stupid trolley and look what I'm doing. You're not supposed to do that. Look at that. All that beautiful mud I have on top, I create that freaking barrier. And the air inside of the concrete that's going to want to get out of there, I create a barrier. Look, look at that. Look, look what I'm doing right here. You freaking moron. You freaking stupid dumb fuck. Look at that. If you troll it too early, you create the lamination, boy. The hair is not going to be able to evacuate. Look at that. This is terrible what I'm doing right now. This is what creates freaking delamination. You need to wait before you finish your freaking concrete. And that pissed me off because it's a lot of work, that freaking preparation. You see it in the previous video. Look at what I'm doing. This is just freaking terrible so boys long short story don't freaking do that because if you do that too early hear what happened I'm going to show you what happened I already show you what happened that's what happened right here that's what happened look the delimination all over the freaking place because I finished too freaking early. So, that's it, boys. You need to wait. You need to wait before you finish that freaking thing. So, that's it. I'm going to leave it at that, boys. Very quick video. I talk about the elimination. Mistake. Big mistake that I make. But this is how life works. You learn from your mistake, and you don't do it again. That's it. Okay, boys, if you like that content, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.